guys. Oops, I did it again. Hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you're in the world. Let's not wait too long for our first bite because while it is still hot, let's do the stretch test. We're eating corn cheese today. Yes, it passes the stretch test. Ooh. So we have sweet corn on the bottom with a little bits of red pepper and we have a nice generous dose of mozzarella cheese on the top with sprinkles of basil. Mmm. Oh. Oh, look at that steam. Usually I don't do very well with cheese, but taste wise, can't help myself. Too much goodness in one bite. You have tea. What kind of tea, you ask? Burdock. And on the end of this tea, it reads, Chon cha chon haru, which means good tea, good day. So today my hair wasn't listening to me very well. It's supposed to do this. See, I think I look like 5% cuter with bangs like this, but no. My hair's not listening to me. Actually, before I stuck this in the oven, I cooked the corn with butter first. Today I'm going to be answering your questions from the previous mukbang as well as from um, Instagram. And some people have been emailing me questions that I've answered many times before in previous videos. Those questions, I'll just answer briefly. Some of you who have been following my videos for a while, I don't want to bore you with the same q and I'm going to do my best to re avoid redundancy, yet still be welcoming to our new viewers. Ooh, it's hot! As I film this, I'm in San Jose. It's finally cooled down around here. But the weather inside this room and the weather above this pan feels like the peak of summer again. Ooh, I feel my pores opening up. A steam facial. Corny, cheesy, steam facial. All right, this cheese is losing its epic stretch. See, it's breaking apart easily now.
and tea is quite hot still. Mm, we might have to wait at least another three to five minutes to drink that without burning ourselves. As you're watching this mukbang, are you eating anything? If so, what are you eating? Let me know in the comment section. Well, lately, I have been editing so many videos. I haven't tried to edit some videos in advance. Because I'm going to be going to LA at the end of September for my friend's wedding. So when I'm there, I wanted to see a couple extra days and collab with some people. It's been a while since I've been to LA. I used to live there for seven years. And the food scene is always happening there. And by the time I go to LA, I gotta pack like 12 extra stomachs. I'll give you a close-up of this. So it's a bit heavy. It's on a wooden board. I don't want to burn my table, so. <clears throat> oh no, my pan is sliding. Okay, my pan is not too hot anymore, so let's just let the pan out. Welcome to the planet of corn and cheese. Over here, it looks like a crater. The other side right here, untouched virgin land. Wow, so much cheese. Mmm. This piece must have been at the edge of the tray. Ooh, it's got a golden brown. Mmm. I'm going to finish what's in my mouth because I want to really taste that, the golden edge. I don't want it to get diluted with the other flavors, the less di diluted edge flavors. Now because I'm lactose intolerant, I'm curious to find out how badly my farts will smell after this. Uh, maybe it won't be too bad. We'll see what happens. Mm. Crispy edge. Ooh, there's more crispy edges right here. Mm. It's just creepy. Cre bleh, creepy. It's just crispy on only the little brown parts. Mm, I wish it was crispier on a larger, you know, square footage. Oh, see, right here. More crispy edges. Ooh, and it comes right off. Mmm, crispy quarter. Wow. Look at that. Okay, this part, it going to taste so good. Crispy corner. Yes. It's a little bit chewy. Whoa. My teeth could have fell off. Mm, recently, I bought this coaster and it's made of uh, agate or agat, however you pronounce it. I've never heard it pronounced before, actually. Isn't that beautiful? 
It looks like an intense iris and pupil. Each of these crystal coasters are so unique. You cannot replicate the same one. After I eat this, I'm definitely going to work out. I want to go hiking for like four or five hours. However, I have to edit the video as well. So uh, I might just go swim maybe. Pendolin videos asks, do you research the places you travel to before you go there and the places you might want to explore? I research, yes. Uh, sometimes I do extensive research, but uh, it's not like I'm going to do everything that I find in my research. The research part is important because it gives you a general idea of maybe like where you want to stay in Vietnam. If I have at least general knowledge before I visit a country, then I have an easier time navigating myself or uh, when I talk to locals or when I talk to uh, expats or foreigners, um, they might refer to something and then I'm like, oh, I get what you mean. I know what you're talking about. I read about this because um, if you're like totally don't know anything about a country and go there it might actually waste your time um, especially if you don't have the internet connection then instead of already pre-hand knowing some uh, basic important knowledge you're trying to figure things out you know the process is longer <laughs> she does not stretch anymore Observe closely, this cheese is a slide for corn. I recommend not over-researching either. Uh, sometimes uh, the research, the information you get might not be up to date. So uh, once you get to the country, you might feel misinformed. But the information might be correct uh, 10 years ago, but not so much now. So do the basic, basic research and have a basic plan, but uh, don't over-schedule or you, know, you don't need to like spend 100 hours getting to know about Bali before you go. If for your leisure reading you want to read about Bali, go ahead, by all means. But just keep in mind that whatever information is out there, it might not be up to date. And when it comes to vaccinations, maybe there's a some sort of new outbreak in the country or in the world, then you might need an extra vaccination. Or you might not be recommended to go visit that country or to exit out of your country. Definitely do research on what vaccinations you need to get and if you need a visa beforehand. It's unfortunate but there have been people 
who booked their entire trip and when they're checking in with the airline they realize they don't have the visa then they lost all their money all the uh, time they spent on planning their trip the money they spent for getting the plane ticket and the accommodation it's all disappears and if you have traveler's insurance or something to help you get refunds then great but getting refunds is not an easy task it, it takes time depends it depends on the company oh that cheese is more stubborn now This cheesy corn is something that I first ate in Koreatown, LA, back when I lived in Los Angeles uh, about, I want to say about five years ago is when I first had this. And it was at a, a place where they sold soju and different types of Korean alcohol. And this is one of the anju, the things that you pair with alcohol. So in the previous mukbang, someone asked me, uh, why didn't you reheat your noodles? Kathy Bigfoot, why not reheat it? When you reheat food, it doesn't always taste the same. Heat can change the texture of the food. Narcissa Errol asks, I want to visit Vietnam within two years. What must I prepare to visit the trip, which I will take one of the two weeks I'm in Asia? So it sounds like you're going to be in Vietnam for one week. Uh, generally speaking, before you visit any country, um, as mentioned before, do a little bit of research. It doesn't hurt to look at the current political affairs. What's going on? If the city you really want to visit, there's a lot of riots going on, there's going to be a lot more traffic, you might not be able to do the activities you're hoping to do. Which means some days, you might just need to stay put in your accommodation. Once again, be sure to have all your vaccinations. Some vaccines, you might need to get shot two, three times, multiple times. And you might need to space them out. You don't want to go to the travel clinic just one week before you depart. Like before you even book your trip. I recommend looking at the list of potential travel vaccines you need to take. And verify that with your travel clinic. If you stay in the city versus staying in the countryside, there is a different set of vaccinations you need to get. Freshly Donut asks, are you Vietnamese? I don't know where are you from because I'm new subs. And then they also asked, where does she live? Uh, I'm currently based from San Francisco Bay Area. Well, specifically San Jose, which is about about 40 minutes to an hour drive from San Francisco. There's a lot more traffic here these days, so it could be even a, an hour and a half from San Francisco. By blood, I am Korean, but I was born and raised in America. So when I hang out with native Koreans, I do sense a little difference, culturally.
the cultural norm differs in each country. Even within the country, there are different cultures, right? In America, we have many different ethnicities living here. We have mega cities like New York and Los Angeles. And we have the Midwest, not as dense. A large part of the nation is into football, American football. So, Super Bowl is a big cultural thing. But I personally, I'm not into football. Although I, sometimes I do try to be, but it's not my thing, at least for now. Maybe next year or maybe in the future I'll get super into football and watching sports. My mom is, mommy always super into watching sports, as you may already know. Uh, Scoozy. There may be major events and holidays people have a tendency of celebrating, but not every person in that country is going to celebrate it. Like Christmas, for example. Christmas is a... I, I believe I could say it's a universal holiday. All around the world, many, many people celebrate Christmas. Part of Christmas, gift giving is a big component. Um, you know, especially children really look look forward to opening up presents next to the Christmas tree. But me personally, I think, you know, it's a very kind of um, commercial holiday. Sometimes buying Christmas presents is a waste because you're not always buying something that's useful for someone. Especially if you have a long list of people to give presents to. At that point, you're trying to just like buy gifts as soon as you can because you're running out of time i personally like to give christmas presents throughout the year so if i see something i see a book or see something that a friend or family might like i just buy it for them but i'd rather have a family or friend cook a meal for me on a non-holiday uh, than get a christmas present I'm getting really full. Oh, food. I right, guess I'm gonna have one more bite and then I gotta edit this video and upload and then work out. Actually, I have other things to do too, but those are my priorities. Actually, we still have some crispy edges here. So if you guys have any questions regarding travel, food, life, let me know in the comment section. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm getting all the edges, the golden edges. When I eat corn cheese in Korean restaurants, it tastes more sinful and heavy. I made a little bit healthier version. I didn't add mayo in this one. And actually, personally, I'm not a big fan of mayo. And the thought of like eating a large amount of mayo didn't sound very appetizing to me. So I just wanted to focus mainly on the corn and the cheese, mozzarella cheese. Oh, it's hot. Ooh, hot and full. Wow. I'm, I'm definitely sweating right now. I have a lot of updates going on that I want to share with you. But my mind is... Uh, I haven't been meditating as much lately, so maybe that's why I'm feeling more frazzled. Um, definitely, like, when I meditate every day for a minimum of 20 minutes, I feel more together. But I typically will also meditate when I'm tired, like right after I wake up, if I feel like I didn't sleep enough. Uh, before bed, I, if I have a hard time sleeping, then I'll also meditate then. But these days, for whatever reason, uh, I've been falling asleep without any trouble and I've been waking up feeling fully rested. So uh, I don't think about meditating as much, you know? It's like, for me, when I'm tired, 
the first thought that comes to my head is, ah, meditation. Hope you guys enjoyed eating cheese corn with me. And yum, 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 yum. What was I going to say? Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Miss Mina O for delicious selfies and food, of course. I'll see you guys in the next travel video and mukbang. Bye-bye.